Hello, and welcome slash welcome back to FF16, uh, the DLC for, the, well, The Rising Tide just came out, and I have purchased it, and we have to go to apparently here for that. Uh, if you haven't seen my playthrough of the main game, I've done everything, it's, it's, it's all done, uh, so I'm sitting at the end of the game on Final Fantasy difficulty, this is going to be a little bit harder than a normal mode playthrough of the DLC. I, I hope. <laughs> I I would definitely enjoy it if this game was a little harder. It's going to be weird because I'm coming right out of Rebirth into this, so... You know. Uh, some things have changed as far as my opinions, I guess? But overall, I still love this game, regardless. So, uh, there are... I actually got the Platinum, actually. Uh-oh. Is there... Oh, man, there's a bunch... They're all hidden. Okay. I got the platinum in this in between my last playthrough and... What what I what was it? Episode 55? 50 50-something? 50 this is a long Let's Play. Uh, and we fought Omega last time. I have the Omega weapon, and I forgot where all the buttons are. Oh, my God. I have the Omega weapon and all the Fallen stuff upgraded. A Genji plus one and, you know... The normal stuff that you'd probably see. I don't do any super fancy stuff. I've seen plenty of people use, like... What's that move called? What's that Shiva move? Is it that one? No. There's a Shiva move where you can, like, freeze time. Is it Shiva, even? No, it's Rift Slip. It's, it's Odin. Where you freeze time and you just have, like, infinite stagger and stuff. I'm not going to play like that. I'm just going to, you know, play how I normally play. Because it, that is... It requires so much setup. And I've, I've done it before and it does a lot of damage. But, uh, no. We're, we're going to use this setup for now. Uh, we're probably going to get a new icon in this. I'm pretty sure we would. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I know where we're going. Uh, as far as the name goes, and I know it's nostalgic, Mysidia is from FF4, and it's like the Land of the Summons, which should be interesting. That's about that's about all I know, though. I don't really know anything about this DLC. Karen, Karen apparently has a new stuff. It's a dangerous world out there. Let's stock up. What do you have that's new? Is it music? It's probably probably music. Of course it is. Oh, well, let's... <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Me blind, you know. Forgot how this, uh, <laughs> this one worked. It'd better I'll be here. You're rubbing All me blind, is one. You know. It'd better I'll be here. You're rubbing me blind, you know. Damn. That was a lot of new songs. Uh, I know one song in here that I will absolutely replace if I have to, because Stop. apparently... Uh, <laughs> Torn from the Heavens is... <laughs> For some reason in here apparently and it's i don't know why they added it i don't I, I don't know it's very copyright for for some reason it's the only ff14 song that's copyright okay so i've done all side quests again almost all of them uh again in final fantasy difficulty so we're, we should be good to go sid I shall not waste time mincing words. Leviathan's dominant is in need of rescue, and despite my innumerable misgivings about joining our, joining hands with the outlaw of the highest re disrepute, the dame has assured me that there is none better suited to the task at hand. I dare not reveal more, for, for fear this missive could fall in the wrong hands. But if what little I have penned here has kindled your interest... I bid you journey to the Vale in Northreach and inquire with one Layla. She will surely see you satisfied? What you got to say about this? Leviathan the Lost? But why now? After all this time? Good question. Why what now? No. Oh, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. After all we've been through. I doubt there's anything that could surprise me at this point. <laughs> Alright then. Rouse Joshua and meet me in the mess. We'll talk there. Okay. Uh, 
I see we're all here. So, what is it this time? I'm not sure yet. The letter delivered to my chambers omitted a few crucial details. Do we know its provenance? That was one of the details it omitted. But whoever the sender was, it seems the dame held them in high enough regard to point them in our direction. The dame? Well, she's not one to waste our time. It must be important. Important might be an understatement. If the letter is to be believed, Leviathan's dominant is in danger. And someone wants us to save him. Leviathan? So the Warden of Water has finally returned. What has it been? A hundred years? Uh, more. The lost moniker dates back at least that long. Even our venerable Lawsman would not have been so much as a glint in his father's eye when last the mighty serpent brought his crushing waves to bear upon the realm. But why the gap? I know it can be a few years before a new dominance born. But over a century? Should the dominant freak? of Water's bloodline have been severed somehow, it could have prevented a new dominant from awakening. But if one has awakened now, he couldn't have chosen a worse time. Every nation in the realm has lost its dominant. If word gets out that there is still one to be had, they will stop at nothing to claim it for their own. And the twins will be at war again, just when humanity most needs to come together. Did the letter say anything else? Only that if I wish to know more, we must meet in person. And that the Vale can arrange a meeting. Hmm. If nothing else, you can be certain it ain't a trap. <laughs> Famous last words. I'm coming with you. Who better? As am I. Thank you. Both of you. And Otto? Yeah, yeah. I'll keep an eye on things here. Didn't fancy coming anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I shall leave the Invincible in your capable hands. Ooh, is that new? Or did I just forget the Quest to Accept music? Okay, um, I thought... I thought for sure that they mentioned there couldn't be more than eight at once. And since Clive was a freak, I figured Leviathan couldn't have been around. But we did kill... Well, I mean, Gru Garuda died. Uh, Odin also, and Titan. I, I mean, they, they could have just developed it now, right? I don't know. I don't. It's been a long time. I don't remember the lore. And quest destination uh, indicated with the uh, that thing, which kind of looks like a spear, a bit trident. No, not really. After accepting, it'll be on the to-do list. It will replace the main scenario. Okay. Perfect. Oh, you have updates. What will it be today? Um. It depends. Is this about Allow the new stuff you. or the Here old stuff? Information on rising tide has been added. Okay. Oh, just showing that we're going to Northreach, right? Well, that's good. This board would be very helpful for me here. after years. Characters appearing in rising tide? Not years. I, I forgot how long it's actually been. I think it's been over. Over eight months, though. No, actually, didn't it come out last year in, in summer? It's been a while. Okay, so somehow you're related. That's all we know. Very good. Layla, whoever that is. All right, hold on. Okay, before we go, I do want to see what songs I just bought because they're all, they were not available before, so they are definitely related to this new situation. Do you have any new, uh, Stuff. I put father's helm in your chambers. Okay, you so this is that's about. I forgot to talk to people it, after. There we go. Rising tide. Does it not seem odd? 
that after the absence of more than a century, Leviathan should reappear just as you claim the power of the realm's final Could warden. This perhaps be a part of Ultima's plan. Thank you. Shall we then? Okay, anyone else got like random info on that? I guess this would be easier if I talked to everyone beforehand. Gav? Nope. I'll hold the fort. Don't you worry. Byron? I don't suppose you're here to reprise the saint. We'll be fine, Clive. He's here, I tell you. <laughs> Probably Everyone just Jill and Joshua. Okay, uh, what are the new songs? We got those two already. You are new? What is this? Oh, I said it to speak to him. It's so quiet. I can't even hear it. I mean, there's piano there, but... I feel like I know where that plays. I think it's kind of right, right before or after my star plays. Okay, we got that one. Wait, is this the... Oh, uh, spoilers for the end of the... Well, we are at the end of the game, so obviously there'd be spoilers if you, if you didn't know. Despite the saying part one. Yeah, this is all part of the fight. Okay, so all of those are part of the final battle with him that we just bought. I'm gonna go back to that one. All right, let's talk to Jill and then we'll take off. You, please don't. He doesn't have an what update. What do I owe but... you, So what it be? Nothing's gonna be no mega weapon, right? Yeah, reinforce. Can I reinforce the weapon even farther? No. Uh, okay. Fine. First the skies, then the crystal. It's really weird coming back into this at the end of the game without playing everything up to this again just to do the DLC. Clive. Oh. I wanted to give. I forgot to pick this up again. Is this? I think I can skip it. This is our normal dialogue after you finish your side quest. Yeah, Something we got a linen handkerchief. The world is ending. And here we are, worrying that the realm will spend its remaining strength fighting for the right to claim a dominant. And for what, if not more bloodshed? Uh, besides which, if it's true the dominant needs our help, is, is it not likely they've already been claimed? Good point. We should be going, Clive. Okay, what button it... That button. Okay. It's so weird after coming out of rebirth. <laughs> I'm not gonna do any comparisons or anything. Uh, I've said plenty in that game and plenty in this game about what I like and dislike. This game's story Looks is definitely. Like a strong point. But enough talk. How about we retire to the Fancy a peek behind the veil, my lord? You have to put it that way? I'm looking for a Layla. <laughs> you found one. So, will your friends be joining in? Or just watching? Do you have to put it that way? <laughs> Uh, we're not here for your services. We simply want to talk. What you do with your time <clears> is up to you. The price is still the same. <laughs> uh, we're here about the letter. Oh. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I suppose you'll be wanting to know who wrote it then. Among other things. Look, I'm just the messenger here. There's only so much I can tell you. Specifically? 
a location north of town on the shore of Eilefeist Bay. There you'll find a tent and the woman who can answer your questions. And that's all? Nothing else? Actually, one thing. There's more than flowers in the meadows these days. So keep that sword of yours to hand. Okay. Um, I did practice in the training thingy because does anyone else think it's strange that this woman while. should prefer to keep to the outskirts of town not if she realizes the value of the information she's party to and the danger it puts her in the only thing i still have a gripe with and i'm noticing that after pressing every button has not changed be careful. you cannot sprint in towns at all how do you sprint? Do you just keep running and eventually sprint? Yeah. It's the only thing that hasn't changed that I'm just like begging. Please add that button. <laughs> well, the tent is where Layla said it would be. Yes, but who awaits us inside? No one. Hmm. It's empty. Why am I not surprised? Oh, well, there's our boat. A boat. No prizes for guessing who that belongs to. I, uh, I hope we get on that boat and he stands at the front and does the Dawn Trail trailer thing. Just, just tie them both together. The embers are still warm. So you're Sid. Hello. I suppose I must be. Which means you have me at a disadvantage. Apologies. I am Shula. Tributary of Mesidia. Final haven of the Morts of Water. The Morts of Water. The very tribe into which it was believed Leviathan's Dominant was born. A people notable for their sapphire eyes and ivory hair. Hmm. Yes, that would be impossible, since the tribe famously... Vanished. Was exterminated. <laughs> Despite the best efforts of both church and state, we are still very much alive. Though we've managed to keep that fact hidden from good Grieger's faithful for over a century. Along with Leviathan's dominant. That wave out there. What do you know of it? The surge. Only that it's been there a long time. I thought it was Shiva. Since the fall of Drake's Eye almost a century ago. Some claim the two are connected, but none can speak with any certainty. So in other words, you know nothing. <laughs> Not that I'll hold it against you. The wave was raised by Leviathan in an act of rage. Moments before the waters were stayed, and the icon and its dominant bound within. Oh. And you want us to rescue him? Yes. You see, a little bird told me about a certain outlaw with a singular knack for putting unruly dominance in their place. And ours is about as unruly as they get. For years, we've searched for someone who could hold their own against an icon. Someone just like you. So what do you say? Will you help us? 
What exactly did your dominant do to warrant this punishment? What did he do? He committed the greatest crime one of his kind can. He was born. Mm. But he deserves a better fate than the one my people forced upon him. He deserves to be free. As do we all. Very well. Far-fetched though your tale may seem. Something tells me you speak in earnest. So we will do what we can for your dominant. But first, you will tell us everything you know about him and the means of his imprisonment. I can do better than that. I can show you. Care to take a trip across the bay? My people await you there. Lead the way. Where is Mycidia? Also, this is very strange. I, I thought they mentioned that uh, Shiva froze the water or something, but I, I that that's uh, I don't know, maybe not. Um, this is very strange because we've already beaten the game and we know that like th this is essentially kind of pointless in a way. Well, same with Omega. It was it was kind of pointless because. Well, Omega's different, because that was going to exist regardless, but once you do Origin, all of this is... D d dominance are done, like... Wouldn't that essentially save them, too? I just hope there are bigger stakes here than just the dominant situation. The Lost Cloak. Doesn't look like a dungeon. Yeah, this is an actual fast travel. If you manage to navigate the Cloak's narrow mountaintop pass, Without plummeting to your death, you'll be rewarded with a breathtaking view of Blighted Wasteland, stretching from the Oil of Fe Feist Bay to the Sea of Grace. You were not on the map before. Not like that. Oh, we're in, we're in actual cutscene mode. All right, you might want to hold on to something. We're coming up on the wall, and passing through can take a bit of getting used to. I don't see any wall. Of course you don't. That's the point. It's a glamour woven by our ancestors to keep our village hidden from prying eyes. Ooh. But don't take my word for it. Watch. Worse than a slug of Bacchus wine. <laughs> Clive, the sky. What? It's blue, but how is that possible? You do know what a glamour is, don't you? I thought that was... Ours just happens to work both ways, and a good thing too. I wouldn't fancy staring at those sickly clouds every day. Okay. That's a interesting way to give us like the blue sky situation again. Thank you for mentioning it works both ways or I was going to sit here and be like, huh? <laughs> and that concludes our little voyage. We're here. I immediately love this area. big is it though like it's 20 bucks 20 dollar dlc so let's see it's a long slog to the village and a hard one i uh, hope you're up for a claim hmm. oh right uh our levels increased too i'm level 100 right now 
I think we can go to 110, I believe. I got like all the basic information about the game. Finally. What? You didn't think we'd arrived, did you? <laughs> the village isn't up here. It's on the other side of the mountain. Of course it is. Wait a minute. I just need to... No! I forgot we could do this. Hold up. Hold up. Because I'm probably not going to go back and actually talk to him. I want to see what they write down here. Long, though, long thought lost the blight. Mysidia is, in fact, one of the last few regions in the former northern territories to that remain lush and teeming with life. Though one might not believe so when viewing it from across Oil of Fife Bay. This is solely due to the powerful glamour erected by the residents, the moat of water, to make the lands appear to be dead from the outside, and thus discourage unwanted visitors. And you... Leader of the Moats, author of the letter that asking for Sid. That n that the note was delivered to the Vale suggests they share a friendship with the dame, though the fact that she preferred a tent upon the isolated bluffs from far from the North Reach for a meeting place over es Isabel's establishment implies the need for the greatest secrecy. Moats of water, people who um among whom the dominant of Le Leviathan is born, notable for their ivory hair and sapphire eyes. Histories agree that their bloodline was ended some hundred or more years ago. The icon that swims within forever lost the void. World. And the glamour, an ethereal dome woven by them to shield their home from bright eyes. While the land within teems with life, to an outside observer, it appears it as if it has been lost to the blight. Passing through the wall is a disorienting experience akin to a sudden rush of alcoholic intoxication. Yay! Oh, does that stop the music? It's a bit quiet. I'll be I'll be a little bit silent here, but Okay, we got a linear path up here, but it looks like eventually we'll not. Well, we'll be able to break off. Also, Watch if we run into Sid. battles, this path can be treacherous. If not for the sheer drop, then for the beasts who prowl it. Thank you for the warning. And please, call me Clive. Sid is an alias. You will be pleased to learn, Lady Shula, that I have no such aliases. Is that so, Lord <laughs> Margrace? It's all the same to me. I mean, he's not using it. Oh, man. Oh! I was Hi, guys! Pick up our scent. 100! I forgot how to fight little Shall enemies. I keep my axe and spells to myself, then? Uh, I know this button works. This one. I have to... I have to hold L1 to lock on. And you, you are this button, which I missed. Oh. What are my buttons? Judgment Bolt. That does, oh, that's a pointless move right now, but. I'll go back into it. Earlier you mentioned spells, Damn. yet I see you carry no crystals. Since when did a bearer ever need crystals? But then, where is your brand? Waiting for me in Sunbreck, if I ever get careless. <laughs> then it's in for a long wait. Hmm. All yours, Toro. I wonder if I can, uh... Wait, can I still do my, uh, parrying? Oh, Come here. Oh, that button? I don't know if you can parry them. <laughs> Oh, they're dead. I got really, like, I had so much fun just sitting there with this out and just parrying. 
at just constantly. It was just addicting, despite being kind We're of almost at the summit. Useless. From there, you'll have a better view of our home. Hmm. Few have ever set eyes on what I'm about to show you. Just so you know. This is not what I expected. Welcome, my friends, to Mercidia. Oh. What was that? Uh, it is. <laughs> It's been a long time since I saw the North looking so... so... Alive. How I'm is... sure you have plenty of questions, but it's been a long journey, and I expect we could all do with a rest. Our humble village is only a short way from here, if you'd care to accompany me. Let's get ourselves in front of a fire, and I'll tell you everything you need to know. Oh man. That looks good. What is the It's beautiful. Line. Shula. Oh, glamour got updated. Did you just give me a picture? Lush forest teeming with life. Okay. And we aim to keep it that way. I really like the look of this village. I mean, we're not even there yet. Oh no! I don't have to fight you guys, right? Can I just walk up to you? Yeah, I'm not gonna fight you. Are those stones glowing? That's one of the cairns which maintain the glamour. Stay well clear. Oh. Battle version of this? Oh no! I would have loved a battle version of that. Why do I still use gout? Gouge does build up the multiplier quite, quite consistently. One wonders what prompted it. You sure that wasn't frozen by Shiva? Like, how, how did they... Uh, looks pretty frozen to me. Not like Jill Shiva, but like... Before Jill Shiva. Oh, I don't have to press square. <laughs> Oh. You know what? Why don't I just get in the middle and then diamond dust? That's probably the best one for that. What if I just, uh... Oh, you're the only enemy left. This is a way. I'm just gonna get five ready for the next group. <laughs> Come up here. Alright. I highly doubt I need to go out of my way to grab these items, but I am still going to. I probably have billions of magic to ash. Am I block? Oh no, I forgot to move up. <laughs> well, we're going through like fighting areas. I have to be up. All right. That's better. High potion? Could we not have spared ourselves the mountain crossing by landing further north? In clear view of the bay.
That that wasn't really a response. Are you the one that's locked? No, what is this? Oh, that's going to be that's going to be a fight. A hunt? I know we're getting a few new enemies. But I only know of the one. Okay. Yeah, this is nothing at the moment. Clive, can you, uh... God, I wish I could hit sprint. <laughs> I don't know where the design decision came in to just make it so you only sprint when you're running for a while. But in Devil May Cry, that's how it works. So I'm guessing it's just like a carryover from that. On evening tides... Does morning's light return? Open the gates! The tributary is home! I wonder where that post credit scene takes place. Because it kind of seems like somewhere around here. Outsiders? Well, I never. Look at the size of that dog. All right, now. Back to your duties. You'll have to forgive my people their curiosity. We don't get many visitors. Or any, truth be told. Then we are honored to be the first. This is quite extraordinary. Like stepping into another world. So do you believe me now? You've made it difficult not to, my lady. <laughs> but how did your people chance to settle here, in the north? Unless I am much mistaken, the moats of water long called the coasts of Southern Ash their home. Until Drake's horn fell, and the Blight forced them ever inland, where... We met our doom, along with our dominant. I see you've read the Gregorian Church's account, but perhaps you'd like to hear ours. That building over there is the Witten Hall. It's where my people gather to discuss matters of import. Witten? We can speak more inside, once the place is ready to receive you. It shouldn't take long, but you're welcome to explore the village while I see to things. Thank you. We'll do just that. Just throw in a sudden ton ton of mini games to make up for the the lack of mini game. Just every every house has a mini game. <laughs> the stores, the Witten Hall, Minwoo's. Wait, went Minwoo. Minwoo was in... Hold on. Was that two? Absolutely. I forgot that uh, Mysidia was in two. Or at least the name for it. I don't... Do we ever go to a place called Mysidia? In two. Uh, he's a white mage. From Mysidia. And uh, he helps you... He's one of the random like guest characters in the game. I remember him very well. But also not at all at the same time. It's one of those things. <laughs> Okay. Let's look around then. You guys talk when I walk up. Is that how it works? Do you guys say nothing? Then, then. Don't look like much if you ask me. Well. I wouldn't say that. He's coming over here. What do we do? I don't know. Just look busy. Hi? Hello? The stalks are thin. The leaves limp. We should dress the soil with dung and straw at once. Or I fear for the autumn harvest. Yeah, I feel like, regardless of where... Wh what that post scene was with the kids and the mom, it feels like it'd be in an area like this. 
probably not relevant at all. It, it, every area is probably like this by post game, but at the moment, that's Just like what's coming to mind. Away from that temple. Do you hear me? I heard you the first time. Okay, they can't go near the temple. I see. This is uh, that's a dead end. Gotta keep hitting R3. Sorry, and it, but I don't like it's it. Not moving. Outsiders should stay on the outside. <sighs> Wait. That's Minwoo's cup. Is it in the shape of anything? No? Nothing I could decipher. Are those Minwoo's cups? I I don't What do you what do you do here? I guess I guess you could kind of picnic here. You could put food out and something. Oh, don't think I can carry another barrel up those steps. If I had a crystal, maybe. Those crystals are for the glamour, you lazy beggar. Now stop whining and get that water to the foundry. <laughs> Is this song too quiet or too loud? I can't tell. Look, that one's got a black cape. Do you think he's the leader? Smart. Smart kids. Black cape equals leader. Okay, nothing going on there. You not guys? The outsiders. Hush. It's not polite to call outsiders outsiders. What? What else would you call us? Uh, tourists? How Does that word exist here? How long has been standing here? Oh, at least as long as we have. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I want to play with the others. Well, you should have thought about that before making such a mess. Rip. Grounded. <sighs> yeah, we'll just do a circle around like this. I always admired the just general world building in this game. Suddenly, there were curls everywhere I looked. It was all I could do to make it back to heaven without being torn limb from limb. All you could do. And there I was thinking you were a bearer. <laughs> Did you hear that, girl? You're going with father today. If you don't mind, Manda, I'm in a hurry. No. The tributary is in the Witten Hall. As you should be. I thought we had to wait till we're ready. Can't tell me to go there early. Oh man, the motion blur is a little heavy, so I, I like turned it, it all the way like off. Jen's but was disturbed by an ibex. As if we didn't have enough to do. Busy or not, though, only to see to it soon. Don't want the glamour unraveling. Yeah, you don't want that. You used to work on the outside, didn't you? Is it really like the sea it is? If you mean filthy, noisy, and rank, then no. It's much, much worse. <laughs> I mean, I don't... I wouldn't blame them. Uh-oh, that's a chest over there. I don't blame them for thinking that. It's 100% it's true. Gold penning? Is that a new type of uh, crafting mat, or is that something else? It's a crafting mat. Uh, we may never know what this ancient gold coin was minted. However, considering that gill has been circulating since the advent of the realm's current calendar, this piece is quite possibly over a thousand winters old. Oh, this predates gill. I had the foul odor produced by tallow candles, soap, and polish, and the people of Mycidia would have applied generous amounts of heavily scented oils to everything that came in contact with the stuff. This particular amphor appears to have been affected by the surfeit of ether, which has somehow slowed its degradation process, allowing it to maintain its floral aroma, despite having been left untouched for decades. Okay. Uh, I already looked over there. We are done. Oh, do you think he baits? Who? 
the hound or his master? <laughs> I was gonna say Dashma? The poor things are as pale as ghosts. Oh, they're unwell. I don't think so, ma'am. It's just the way they are. I mean, J Dill is Shiva. It wouldn't make sense if she was tan. Please, Grandad, tell us another story about the witch. I think he's sleeping. Was that the only chest in this whole area? Interesting. Okay, so I have to talk to you to... I just want to see... You gotta be hiding another chest around here, right? Are you back here? Oh, we can't go back here. Yeah, no, we've already been there. Oh my god. Oh, I'm actually gonna turn down Motion Blur a little more. I know... I think I've done one, actually. Alright, I put it to zero, and I just noticed that we got these. The Cortana. Explore the crafted blade. Strange yet familiar images burden both born... Burdens both, born and overcome. This is... Is this the FF1 sword or the FF... No, FF2 sword is... We, we actually have that. That's FF3, the onion sword. Braveheart is the FF2 sword. I think. FF7, obviously, here. This, I think this is the FF1 sword. Uh, and I'm not gonna accept that one. Damn this and it's copyright nonsense. The only song in the entire thing that you'll always get claimed for. Welcome to Haven. The tributary awaits you within the Witten Hall. Okay. And it just happens to be the Fate theme, so if you ever decide to start streaming Final Fantasy XIV, never do a Fate. Just don't. <laughs> do zero Fates. Okay. High-end high Fates. So what do you think of our little haven in the woods? It might not have all the comforts of a southern settlement, but at least it's ours. And there's a lot to be said for that. It can't have been easy keeping this place a secret. Not easy, no. We've dedicated our lives to maintaining the glamour that conceals us. Us and Walius. Who? This man, Walius. Is he Leviathan's dominant? That's right. Though he's no man. Walius is still a baby. A baby? Forgive me, but you said that the Dominant and his icon were bound inside the Surge almost a century ago. Well, you wouldn't That age. would surely make him older still. It would, if he'd been allowed to age. But the spell robbed the poor bairn of even that. I'm sorry? Walius was the son of my great-grandfather. Leviathan awoke within him almost immediately, but instead of allowing the lad to live out his life as a valued member of the community, my ancestors sought to put his power to other uses. Sadly for them, the Icon sensed their treachery and summoned a wave so large it would have swallowed the entire village if my ancestors hadn't stopped him. Then it is not the surge that binds the child, but time itself. Yes. Forgive me. I'm still not sure I understand. I'm not surprised. It isn't the easiest thing to explain. Clive. Okay, we'll go over that later. Which is why it might be better if I took you to see him. Show you exactly what he has to endure. That is why we came. Then let us be off. There's a road that leads north from the village. It'll take us right into the surge. Yeah, but I thought she said we were coming in here, but we had to get uh, the the people had to be ready for the meeting. It was just her. Also, I wanted to look at that tapestry more. What the? Are you bound for the wave, tributary? We are, Delina. Have you spread the word about our guests? I have. Everyone knows to treat them as family. 
You shouldn't have any trouble now, but just in case, I would have you accept this symbol of our people. Hmm. Ceaseless real real? That's very kind. I look forward to meeting the family. The feeling's mutual. Should the tributary be indisposed, feel free to ask me any questions you might have regarding the village, and I'll do my best to answer. Of course. Thank you. We will. <laughs> then I bid you good tide. <laughs> I have to go talk to her right now. Ma'am? Also, oh, th there's a side quest. Lies across the bridge. If you're short of supplies, you may find what you need there. Though we will have to ask you for recompense, poor as we are. Okay. Yes, my lord. About Delina. My name is Delina. And I serve as adjutant to Lady Shula, a tributary of Mysidia, while other adjutants who came before me played the role of guardian as well as aid. Lady Shula is an able warrior in her own right and requires no protection. So I assist her in ministering to the, our people's affairs while she is absent or indisposed. By way of example. It was I who informed the rest of the village of your coming at the tributary's request. If there is aught you wish to know of our people or our village, please do not hesitate. You'll say that every As time. As I'm I sure you're aware. This land was once the domain of the northern... Thanes? Th Theg? Uh... However you pronounce that, though the settlement had lain abandoned for some time when our ancestors' wanderings finally brought them here. Remote as it was, it seemed to them the ideal place to settle, and they duly cast the glamour over it, that their new home might remain the hidden. The of the spell itself. Had been passed down from generation to generation since the time we left Ash. We used it to disguise our camps, that the custodians of the land through which we wandered should not learn of our trespass. And it was these temporary enchantments which led our ancestors to contemplate a more permanent permanent solution upon so arriving. They built the cans. Filled with all the shards of crystal the tribe could spare, and summoned forth a glamour large enough to cover the entire land, and for many days and nights thereafter, their bearers labored to attune the spell, that the outside world might see this place slowly succumb to the blight. Okay. Kind of feel like you should take the second sentence of each of these and, and move it to an, its own- And thus we hid ourselves away. There's just so much in that little text box spot. And thus we hid ourselves away, welcoming none into our private haven, until you, that is. At first, the spell only worked one way. It was only after the skies changed that we conjured a second illusion for the benefit of those inside. It was Lady Shula's idea. A salve for the nerves of those who feared the roiling storm clouds were a harbinger of the end. Hmm. I pray that it brings you a little relief from the darkness of the world beyond the wall as it has done us modes of water story began on the narrow coast of a southern ash where for a aria for, for want of arable land we relied on the mountainous rains to quench our thirst and the bounty of the seas to fill our bellies and thus did we learn the value of water hold up okay arable just means suitable for growing crops after the fall of Drake's Horn. We spent decades in exile, drifting across the deserts and snowfields of the Twins, till the till at last we arrived here in Mysidia, our second true home. Here we found mountains, rivers, and seas not unlike those of our first home in Ash. All that we lacked was crystal. We have no mother crystal of our own here, and nor have we ever received any stipends from our neighbors. Were it not for the few shards we had been able to stockpile during our wanderings in storm, we might never have survived the first few winters, let alone cast the glamour that protects us. For to demand that the bearers among us sacrifice their lives for the benefit of the others was never an option. The hardships we faced on our journey had brought us together, and we would not be divided again. Thankfully, our unity pr proved our strength. And so here we have stayed, 
dependent only upon the blessings which this land provides us. The springs, the rivers, the seas, these are all we motes of water need. Okay. Till next our streams cross. So, your original home... Oh, I hit the wrong button. L3 is zoom out. Yeah. There we go. <sighs> Which one was Drake's horn? That was Drake's horn, right? And they, they lived, like, around here? This is Ash, right? And this is Storm? Oh my god, it's been a while. I forgot which one's which. <laughs> um. Okay, there's all the proof you need. Uh, Northeastern Storm, it, it says, for Lost Cloak's destination. So yeah, this is, this is Storm, meaning that they were originally from somewhere around here. Okay, you're done. There are two side quests. And the stores, I'm assuming that's what you meant by. Sid! You are Sid, aren't you? The man the tributary told us about? Yeah. I wonder if you could help me. With what exactly? Oh, nothing too troublesome. Do you know my husband, Pavart? He's the village smith, among, among other things. Anyway, his name day is not far off, and I wanted to make a gift for him. He's a craftsman, you see, and he's been fretting about running low on the flowers he uses for dye making. So I wondered if you might collect some for me and give them to him. Uh, would this gift not be better coming from you? Perhaps, but it can't for reasons I can't go into. Oh? Please, I know it sounds daft, but I'd be ever so grateful. I want to know these reasons. What? All right. Fine. Which flowers does your husband need? The sweet little blue ones that grow around the fount. Elder's blessings, they're called. We use them to dye our fabric so we we'll always feel close to water like they are. You don't need to go to the trouble of picking them yourself, though. Just speak to the field hands and ask them to share their harvest with you. Two basketfuls should be enough for my husband to be getting on with. Two basketfuls it is. That's kind of menial labor. What do you what do you mean? <laughs> just just want me to Okay, these reasons we can't go into have gotta be Are they fighting? Is it not really your husband? Is is she just have a crutch? Excuse me. I wonder, might you be able to spare a basket of elder's blessings? Pavard's wife tasked me with collecting some for her husband and suggested that I speak to you. Ah. Werder wants you to bless her better half with the fruits of our labor, does she? Go on then. Give the old fool something to squirm about. Well, they're clearly actually. I'm married. sorry. Ah, don't worry about it. An old fool Pavard may be. But if you come bearing gifts, he's not fool enough to turn you away. I'm glad to hear it. Thank you. <laughs> Pavard's not a bad bloke, like, he's just a bit of a craftsman, you know? What? What does that mean? Okay, where is the second one? You? Wait, wait, wait. Oh. The mirrors. My people believe they frighten off trespassing demons by showing oh. them the evil in their hearts. Would you care to take a look? Oh, that's that's what those are about then. Okay, can I talk to anyone else? Oh, oh I, I have motion blur off, but I can still sense it. What is going on here? <laughs> Maybe my eyes just haven't adjusted from other games. Ah. Welcome to Haven, friend. Thank you. Forgive my presumptuousness, but the smith's wife has asked me to make her husband a present of some elder's blessings. Two basketfuls, to be precise. Well, I have one, if that's any help. 
Of course. Yes. I'm much obliged. They really are beautiful. Aren't they just? Though that's not the only reason they have a special place in our hearts. Legend has it that when our people fled from Ash, the tributary of the time took some seeds with them. And as they wandered high and low across the twins, he'd plant them wherever they stopped for water. Every elder since has done the same. Huh. So when we finally put down roots here in Mesidia, the flowers did too. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna know. I, I gotta talk oh, to you again. That's two basketfuls. Quick complete. After completing main objectives of some quests, you may be given the option to quick travel to the to the final destiny. Wow, yeah, this definitely needed to happen. That's it. Would that obviously this has got to be in the main game now? Uh, that that is good that they finally added that. Of course, it's not mandatory, and you're free to ignore it. it can also be disabled in the game settings. Time to visit Pavat. Oh, and it gives you a timer. I'm not blocking it. The elder's blessings are a symbol of our people. I'm glad you like them. Hold on, let me just see if there's anyone to talk to over here. He's no. Over here. What do we do? do Alright, I'm gonna take it. Boop. How fast is it? Yeah. What do you want? Your wife asked me to bring you these flowers. Oh, right. woman come out I know you're there <laughs> who me <laughs> would either of you care to explain what's going on I'm sorry I didn't mean to deceive you you didn't it's just what? my husband can be a bit standoffish at times and I thought this might be a good way for the two of you to get acquainted. Oh. What with you being a swordsman like and him being the only smith in the village. It'd be a shame if you couldn't turn to him for help. The only reason he couldn't turn to me for help is because I had my hands full with all the orders you lot dumped on me. <laughs> I'm pretty much done with them now, though. But for the record, the tributary said that we were to lend you outsiders our aid, and that's exactly what I was planning to do. With or without my darling wife's meddling. Still, here we are. Acquainted. So if there's out you need, just bring us the materials, all right? Okay. All right. All right, then. And tar for the flowers. I was running low. <laughs> you use them for dyeing, I hear. Aye. Crush the petals and it makes a fine and lasting blue. We use it to stain the cloth for our tunics and pennons. To remind us where we come from, like. As modes of water. Children of the sea. That's right. The pattern, too, was left by our ancestors. The ceaseless rill, it's called. It symbolizes the river of our tribe, with the strength of Leviathan running through it. And no matter how that river has ebbed flawed, changed its course. The flowers have always been with us, growing on our banks. <clears throat> I should get back to work. If you need something crafting, let me know. I will. It was a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Wasn't it just? <laughs> oh! They're doing the thingy. Well, a different version of the thingy. They, they, they put their hands on, on their forehead? It's the thought that counts. Reflection of Earth. Titanic block. Really? Why are we getting tit titan stuff here? Residual ether having failed to dissipate. Instead manifested solid form. Not unlike crystal. Uh, it enhances the titanic block, making it capable to block from behind. 
when we're starting a small amount of HP regain gauge. That might be good on Final Fantasy mode. I don't know if it's worth swapping anything out for, but I guess now I, I, I'll, I'll put it on. Okay, now we can get that. That was a very thoughtful... Uh, they, they put a lot of thought into the, the logo. Or not logo, but... What do we want to call this? The symbol of the the children of Moat. It was actually kind of interesting. Just as good as any. Unfortunately, nothing you give me is going to be better uh, right now. I mean, maybe eventually, but at the moment, no. What I wish I could have done is play through the game again and get a Kenji Glove Plus 2. Till next but, time, then. But I couldn't see that happening if I restarted the game, so I refused to do it. Okay, let's uh, let's replace this. This just increases the rate at which Dancing Steel feels, fills the gauge. But now I'm getting pretty good at parrying, so I don't need it to really fill that fast. Plus, being able to get heal from blocking is pretty awesome. Where in the blue heavens has that girl got to? It doesn't heal you directly, but it increases the regain gauge so that when I hit heal with uh, Torgal, it'll actually go into effect. Oh, I'll have her hide when she gets back. Oh, sorry. I was leagues away. How can I help you? If you're after something from the storehouse, it's actually my wife you'll want to talk to. She will have to charge you for the goods, though. Not that would fleece you or anything. It's just, you know, needs must. I understand. Saying that, she might not be able to get anything down for you for a bit. Ah, right. She's got her hands full with the inventory, you see. It should have been my daughter's job, really, but the willful little rills decided to make herself scarce. Ah, the heavens only know where that girl's got to. If you'd like me to keep an eye out for her. Oh, no. I couldn't ask that of an outsider. Could I? You wouldn't mind? No. Yeah. Of course not. She won't have gone far, will she? I hope not. But I've scoured the entire village for her and come up empty-handed. <laughs> Can't help thinking she might have gone on another one of her little adventures. I know exactly uh, where she'll be. A free spirit, is she? Aye, that she is. Can't get her to sit still. Especially once you heard you lot were on your way. Outsiders! You should have seen her little eyes light up. Oh, if she wanted to watch you arrive, she'd have made for the low gate where you first came in. The guard there might have spotted her. Maybe you could ask him. Uh, Ruka, her name is. Okay. All right. I'll let you know if I find her. Try not to worry. Pursuit of knowledge. Well, we have to unlock uh, the basic facilities here because, yeah, she's gonna. We're gonna be following her into there for sure. Oh, you know, it's been too long, Torgo. You were right, boy. Okay. I also just did the FF14 crossover event, which I didn't put online, but uh, my my permanent mount now. Excuse me, you haven't seen the storekeeper's daughter, have you? Little Ruka, I have as it happens. She went out through the gate not long ago. Out of the village, alone. Aye, she does it all the time. There's a path off to the left which leads down to the river. Nice little spot, that. And safe as you like. The beast of the mountain don't dare come so close to the village. That's where she'll be. Go and have a look if you don't believe me. I will. Yeah, but it's kind of a big open area. I feel Follow like... Follow the path to the left. Okay, he's just saying basic stuff. I feel like this would be the time for a monster to suddenly be down this there, be but the path. maybe not. Clive, you can run now. You have permission. <laughs> no, 
much he's not being attacked right now. It's you! I've been looking everywhere for you. You must be Rooker. You know my name? Can you lot read minds? Mm hmm. <laughs> Your father asked me to keep an eye out for you. You left without telling him where you were going. He was worried. But I went to look for you. Well, now you found me. What do you say we head back to the village and let your father know you're safe? All right. And on the way home, you can tell me all about the world beyond the wall. I want to know everything. Uh, <laughs> everything might be a stretch. You're going to need a longer... T t take a longer detour than <laughs> that to, to explain that much. Thank you for bringing her home. And uh, sorry for the trouble. Oh, no battle. No. It was a pleasure. Daddy, did you know that there are villages ten times as big as Haven in the outside world? Ten times! Cities, they call them. And in these cities, they have great big walls and towers and castles. Oh, <laughs> to think I was worried. You can tell me all about the outside world later, sweet pea. Now go and help your mum with the stores. All right. <laughs> Thanks for putting up with her questions. She uh, has a lot of them. One of the big ones being, what are the people beyond the wall like? Reckon you've made a good first impression. Are we the only ones she's ever met? That you are. The rest of the world can't know we're here. So we'll have to be very careful who we're letting in and out. A few of us might make the occasional trip to shore for supplies, but for the most part, we we'll make do with what we've got. Including what the old northern has left us. Yes. You built on top of the old ruins, didn't you? Well, they make for fine foundations. Their masons clearly knew what they were doing. That's one thing we don't have to worry about. <laughs> oh, it's everything else that's the problem. Medicines, metals for tool making, anything like that. We have to dress up as traveling merchants and make a trip to the outside and pray to every cloud in the heavens that nobody sees through us. <sighs> Which explains why you need Gil. Aye. And now Rook is back, my wife should be free to assist you with any potential purchases. So please, do make good use of our stores, because we fully intend to make good use of your coin. I can't... <laughs> I'll be sure to keep my purse strings loose. Can't promise that you're going to have anything better than Karen already has, so... <laughs> Probably not going to be making use of your stores, but I guess we had to unlock it, so. Ageless Tallow. From the, or it, rendered from Fat of Boar, or in the case of Missidia, Mas Chocobo or Ibex. No. Okay. Blacksmiths are known to employ this substance in the final stage of polishing. Don't I already have these, though? They just add the text about Missidia? I think they did. Or maybe that was a different type of tallow. Even swords now available. Okay, it's a well. Pity nothing but the foundations were left standing. A whole storehouse made of stone would make it a lot easier to keep our supplies in good nick. Sure. Let's talk to her too. Will you be back soon? You've still got to tell me everything else about the outside world. Will do. Thanks for bringing me daughter back. I don't grudge her looking for adventure, but she's got to pull away it like the rest of us. Anyway, now we've got the inventory done, I can attend to my own tasks, like seeing to our visitors' needs. So, was the role you wanted? What if I got to talk to you beforehand? What you want? Just let me know. Oh my God! The Minwoo's waist cloth plus three. 
Okay, it is suspected that the dye from the flowers known from the, as Elder's Blessings grown in, in Mysidia not only give the motes of water clothing a, a vibrant blue hue, but that ethereal residue attributed to the an ancient spell cast upon the land uh, somehow increases the dye's permanence, which in turn renders the cloth applied thereto more resistant to both damage from external forces and nat natural degradation. A heart, while a fine place for fancy, is nowhere to hide your purse. Okay, well, this... May it serve you well. Rip things we found in the Omega runes. Oh. Arm ring. Okay, well, but we're just getting... We're getting tons of upgrades. Good thing I'm rich. I think. Yeah, I have 1.3 million. Upon their 16th name day, every mode of water is fitted with a hand-carved wooden torque that they keep will keep for the rest of their lives, a vestige of their tribe's long years of wandering following the fall of Drakeshorn, in which the loss of members was commonplace. The rings rep represents a singular bond between motes that transcend both physical and spiritual distance. Know that even should you walk abyss, our hands will guide you home. If you're sure you need it. <laughs> May I'm it assuming, save you well. I'm assuming this is the song that's playing right now. Safe Haven. Well, uh, if you're sure you need it. It looks like I'm done with I'll you. I'll be here. What do you think the tributary sees in Northern Sizes? Updated. And that guy, eventually I'll probably get a weapon that's somehow going to be better than, think this bridge has been than my Omega weapon, which is interesting. Hmm. Alright, let's close. step out here quick and then I'll probably have to end it. You're Lady Shooter's friend, aren't you? Lady Shooter says that if I want to be tribute one day, I have to learn my letters just like she did. But what good are letters against a Tombry's knife? Oh, I'm excited to see Tomberries. My dear Lady friend, no. don't you? No, you don't have more. Lady Shooter says I want to be tribute one day. I have to learn my letters just like she did. He's got a point though. What good are letters against those? Off to the surge, are you? Well, just you stay close to the tributary. We don't want you getting lost in the forest. There's a pair of ships just up ahead. Ships? But are we not still leagues from the shore? I mean, this place was... Ooh! Clearly underwater at some point. Father's Fell... This reminds me of an area in... Eleven. Ah, uh, I forgot the name of the jungle. Yo... Yotor? Get... Ah... Uh... I don't know how you pronounce it, but it reminds me of that. I want to take a look at these ships before we end. I also have to go over the uh, recent updates to the lore. Oh, oh, we got bees. Widowmakers. Eh, I might as well fight them quick. Uh, uh, time to fight. Who's screaming? Wait, can I, uh, I, I want to try this. Can I, uh, hit me? Oh no, I incited it to... <laughs> I can't really test anything. His enemies are too small to do anything fun. I'm just you with that. There is a whole little path over here, though. What is this? I guess it's down here. Oh. Oh, it's another battle. There's, there's uh, at least two hunts on the map, then. Because we've seen two big open areas with nothing. Oh, man. Can't wait to do new hunts. Hunts are probably one of my favorite things about 16. 
Especially if they make them actually unique, like the, the dragon. Route to the surge is due east, past the second galley. Shula, how did these ships come to be here? What do you imagine happens when an icon of water gets angry? Really, brother, did you have to ask? I see them right there. Ooh, they're definitely right there. We can only go one way, but all right, I'm going to split it here. I'm going to keep these short between it. I'm going to split it here, and in the next one, oh, there are spiders too. The next one, we're heading on forward. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it, and I will see you in the next one.